report of the Houston Chronicle. In 25 years covering the legislature here in Texas, I've seen fist fights, I've seen shoving matches. This was probably the top of anything I've seen. I saw House and a few Senate members clasping arms, celebrating the fact that the bill had been killed. Senators screaming, trying to get the vote tallied before midnight. I thought to myself, this is history. Welcome back to State of Texas In-Depth. Security swarmed this chamber, and the sound from hundreds in the gallery and thousands just outside these doors often drowned out the debate. Here's a look back. Senator Davis, you, yesterday you gave me a sheet indicating that it was your intention to filibuster. Yes, Mr. President, I You're recognized. intend to speak for an extended period of time on the bill. A 13-hour goal on her feet, reading the words of Texas women. From Peggy in Austin, Texas. A filibuster was Senator Wendy Davis' last resort. To decide to stand up for 13 hours and talk on your feet, just going and going and going. Democrats tried to kill the abortion bill in the final days of the special session with no luck. It's not fair, it's oppressive, it's just not right. Hundreds waited to watch the show. We just drove in from Houston, so we got here as fast as we could. Whether they liked it or not. It's not going to keep people like me from coming in here and talking against abortions. It's like watching our own child on the railroad tracks as a train is coming in slow motion. Time ticking away. Right now we're eating and we're going to switch shifts with somebody else um, so that they can go eat. Not a luxury for Davis. No dinner stops, no bathroom breaks. Only talking, talking, and more talking. I would hate to see other families denied the right to choose what is best for them. There's still just under two hours left in a special session. There goes the booze out here. The word is traveling out. The filibuster has been killed. So we'll wait to see what happens if this abortion bill will actually have any chance. We're going to actually walk up one flight because guards will not let us get past that area right now. They brought in extra security with DPS. So uh, Juan Rodriguez is our camera guy, and he is actually following me up to the next floor where you can see things are just as crowded up here. Some women actually chained themselves to the railing, and they were waiting there until the troopers actually came over with bullet cutters to get them off of the railing. Then they physically picked them up and took them out the door as the women were all singing, give peace a chance. People know that this bill is going to fail, and they are not happy about it. You can see thousands of people are here right now inside the rotunda. They are chanting anytime they see anyone coming out of the chamber. They are booing them as well. Now, right now, we want to come back over toward the chamber so we can show you that people are still lining up to get into the gallery. We've also seen troopers getting ready in riot gear. Uh, beyond that, uh, they're just still taking people through security checkpoints right here, trying to make sure that nothing is in these bags. We've had uh, so far reports of anything in bags that could be actually thrown over the railing. They're taking out. You've got uh, glitter, you have water bottles, you have magazines, you have uh, even suspected jars of suspected uh, urine, feces, paint, uh, you know, so it's a very, very tense situation here right now, and security is d definitely beefed up. You know, at one point I saw more than 50 troopers inside the chamber, and the lieutenant governor has threatened to actually clear the entire gallery if things do not calm down and if anything goes forward to prevent this vote. The hallway outside the Texas State Senate seemed almost like the backstage of a rock concert after the special session. Today was democracy in action. Senator Wendy Davis ended her night with supporters from Peggy in Austin, Texas. After more than 11 hours of talking and standing nonstop. Please accept this copy of my testimony. To run up the clock and kill the abortion bill. Tonight was pretty unprecedented. Uh, tonight, in many ways, was historical. Certainly one to watch. Republicans cut Davis' filibuster short, just shy of midnight, the deadline they needed to meet for a vote. Probably the worst night that I've experienced since I've been in the Senate. Democrats work to keep time ticking. The rules were ignored uh, and the whole process was rigged. But hit roadblocks in the final minutes. At what point must a female senator raise her hand or her voice to be recognized over the male colleagues in the room? The thousands of Davis supporters took over. Troopers had to force several out of the chamber. 
You missed a hell of a show. <laughs> <laughs> well, they did everything they could, including, you know, getting the crowd to chant. I mean, you had House members, House members, Democrat House members, revving up the crowd, trying to drown us out so we couldn't do our business. That's not the way democracy works. <laughs> The vote came and went, a little too late to count, thanks to what some are now calling the people's filibuster, and of course, their chosen rock star. My back hurts, <laughs> and I don't have a whole lot of words left in my vocabulary after all that talking, but I am overwhelmed, honestly, by the thousands of people. Just a few weeks after the filibuster, in a second special session, Republicans were successful, passing the bill in mid-July last year. But it has had several legal hurdles along the way, so far coming out on top. Most recently, in March, a federal court upheld the remaining parts that were still challenged, but a new lawsuit is now in play. If nothing changes, though, the law will be in full effect this September. Shortly after passage, I spoke with Texas Attorney General Greg Abbott. The Republicans' office has been in charge of defending the law along the way. I do think that the uh, United States Supreme Court, which is where this case probably will wind up, uh, can reconcile both Roe versus Wade and this law. That fight has been a conservative highlight of Abbott's campaign for governor. And not surprisingly, his opponent is none other than the woman that filibuster boosted to Democratic stardom, Senator Wendy Davis. While many politicos consider Abbott the heir apparent, Davis has helped reignite her party tremendously. Democrats have not won a statewide office in Texas in two decades. Vying for the state's second highest post, two other familiar faces from that night, Democratic Senator Leticia Vandepute and Republican Senator Dan Patrick. While the abortion issue helped catapult some careers, it helped harm others, like the leader of this chamber. Coming up, we'll hear from Lieutenant Governor David Dewhurst. But first, our lawmaker roundtable. She's a former nurse, he's a doctor. Texas House members from different sides of the aisle, both offering insight on the impact of this health legislation when this special edition of State of Texas In-Depth returns.